Hello there. Today I'm going to discuss canine hepatobiliary disease. Question that I normally ask, why is my dog's skin turning yellow? That's the question I'm normally asked by my clients. And this is the answer. This video is the answer to why is my dog's skin turning yellow? So, this is canine hepatobiliary disease. A disease that turns a dog's pink skin color to yellow. It takes a creative groomer to dye a dog's hair coat yellow. But it just takes a poorly functioning liver and the inflamed bile ducts to color a dog's whole body yellow. So how does hepatobiliary disease color the whole dog's body yellow? What's the origin of bilirubin, the yellow pigment behind the yellow color? Macrophages are white blood cells that patrol the blood system, ingesting, neutralizing, and killing harmful agents roaming the intravascular system. Or this is normally what we call phagocytosis. Another function of the macrophages is regulating and maintaining normal levels of, the iron, of iron in the body. Iron is an essential element in the production of red blood cells. The, live blood, the lifespan of dogs' red blood cells is about 120 days. When lead blood cells get old like me or get diseased, the macrophages will run them up and salvage the iron in the heme. But what is heme? Heme is the precursor of hemoglobin. In the production of the hemoglobin, you first of all start with the heme and then you get to hemoglobin. That's the compound that carries oxygen around the body. When macrophages separate the iron from him, they leave a green compound called bilivadin. Bilivadin is the precursor to bilirubin, the yellow color that turns a dog's whole body yellow. In other words, bilirubin is just a waste byproduct of red blood cells catabolism or breakdown. Most of the production of bilirubin is carried out by macrophages in the liver. Newly produced bilirubin is also called indirect or unconjugated bilirubin, and it is an insoluble compound that cannot dissolve in the bile secreted by the liver cells or hepatocytes. To make bilirubin soluble in bile, it must go through a process called conjugation. Once made soluble, the bilirubin is now referred to as direct or conjugated bilirubin. Conjugated or direct bilirubin mixed with the bile is transported via the bile ducts and stored in the gallbladder. From the gallbladder, the mixture is released into the duodenum as needed. But what is bile? Bile is a secretion of the liver, liver cells or hepatocytes and it is in the digestion of fat in the small intestines. Analysis of bilirubin in the blood system is normally reported as either total bilirubin, indirect bilirubin or di direct bilirubin. In the duodenum, the bilirubin is turned into urobilinogen, urobilinogen as a long one. Some urobilinogen is reabsorbed into the blood system, some is recycled back into the river, with some excreted via the urine. Urobilinogen is responsible for the yellow coloration of the urine after conversion into urobilin or urochrome. Some of the urobilinogen in the intestine is converted into stacobilin, which is excreted through the fecal matter. Stacobilin is responsible for the yellow color of the fecal matter. So how does the yellow bilirubin dye the whole of the, body, of the dog's body? 
If the river is unable to conjugate indirect bilirubin into direct bilirubin, the former will accumulate and they start leaking out of the hepatocytes into the bloodstream. If there is obstruction in the bile ducts or gall bladder blocking the flow of bile and bilirubin, bilirubin into the duodenum, the direct bilirubin will accumulate in the gall bladder. Once the direct bilirubin accumulates and fills the gall bladder and the bile ducts, it will eventually pull back and accumulate into the liver too. Heavy loads of direct bilirubin in the liver will interfere with the conjugation of indirect bilirubin and the cause leakage of both types of bilirubin into the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, bilirubin will cut a yellow any organ it zips into. Any organ it comes across will turn into yellow. So what is Jordan's addictors? That's the yellow pigmentation dying every body organ yellow. Are there other clinical signs of canine hepatobilia disease apart from Jordan's addictors? Yes, they are. Lethargy, loss of appetite and loss of weight. Diarrhea and vomiting. Enlarged abdomen. Diagnosis of canine hepatobiliar disease. How do you diagnose canine hepatobiliar disease? While Jordan's or Ictras is a tell all clinical sign, a complete blood work will reveal if the liver is involved and the whole forms of bilirubin are circulating in the blood system. How do you treat canine hepatobiliar disease? From my experience, most of the hepatobiliary disease cases are triggered by inflammatory conditions excuse me, occurring in the liver, the biliary ducts, and the duodenum. These are hepatitis, cholagitis, cholecystitis, and duodenitis. My treatment plan includes the following basic medications. A steroid injection, an antibiotic injection, an antimetic, if there is vomiting, an anti-diarrhea medication if there is diarrhea, lactated lingers solution in 5% dextrose if the dog is anorexic, if the dog is anorexic. Follow-up medications, oral prednisone tablets for one week, oral antibiotic tablets for one week. Your veterinarian will determine the right treatment for your dog that is icteric or jordis or that has canine hepatobiliary disease. And that's the end of the, of the video. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe, share it, comment, or ask a question below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.